Hello friends. Financial ratios help in deciding the financial valuation of the company. There are lot of ratios such as price to earnings ratio, net profit margin, interest coverage ratio, etc used for valuation analysis of any company. So let's understand today price to cash flow ratio. Here the cash flow means the cash from operations which we get in the balance sheet under the cash flow statement. The cash flow from operations is the exact measure which tells us how much cash came in and went out from the core operations of the business. Earnings can be manipulated because earnings get affected by depreciation and other non-cash factors. In cash flow statement, non-cash factors are not included. Thus, the net cash flow at the end of the period is difficult to be manipulated it is specially useful for valuing stocks that have positive cash flow but are not profitable due to large non cash charges thus it is more preferred over pe ratio by the analysts and the investors community it displays the worth of the company based on the cash flow generated by it in other words it shows the rupee an investor is willing to pay for the cash flow generated by the company lower price to cash flow means that the company is undervalued the amount to be received for cash sales of the current period might be received the next year hence when it comes to calculation the figure does not show the correct representation at times as compared to actual sales divided by the purchases so the formula for this would be price to cash flow means current price of the share that is the market price of the share divided by the cash flow per share now what is cash flow per share it means the operating cash flow divided by the outstanding shares and now operating cash flow means net profit plus non cash expenses plus changes in working capital so Now let us find out the companies under the same sector having low price to cash flow per share because price to cash flow means low price to cash flow means and undervalued company so we will do a relative valuation of three companies to understand which one is good so let's take marico britannia and hindustan unilever from the stockage app so when we go to stockage app and we check on the valuation ratios of these companies so let us first check out on the hindustan unilever so when we go to the valuation analysis of this company in the fundamental valuation under the ratios under the valuation ratios what we get is the cash flow per share so now price to cash flow is for this company is 47.58 okay next we move on to britannia industries so cash flow for this company when we move on to ratios under the valuation ratios we check out that the cash flow for this company is price to cash flow is 47.79 which is higher than the Hindustan Unilever next we move on to Marico and check out that what is the cash flow per share price per cash flow of this company so when under the ratios when we check out on the valuation ratios what we find is that the Marico has price to cash flow as 75.91 so that means if the price to cash flow is very high so then that means that share is overvalued so from all of these three in the same sector we could understand after doing a relative valuation that hindustan unilever is one company which is undervalued compared to all these company according to price to cash flow ratio okay but this is just one ratio to analyze whether the company is good or bad so we have to do many more ratios calculation to suffice our investment decision so 
I hope you have learned a lot about price to cash flow in this video. Hope you liked our video. So if you want to know more about the ratio, then you can log on to our website blog.stockage.com and understand the ratio in detail. Thank you.